Where do I go when there's no one to turn to? Feel all alone wondering why I am. Where do I go when I need familiar woman hold my hand? Hi, I'm Colin Barty and welcome to the Captain's Vlog. And woman hold my hand. Who do I lean on when my legs get shaky? Eyes cloud over, I can't see my way. Who lets me know that I'm still walking upright? Woman, hold my hand. Woman, hold my hand. And who laughs with me when I'm feeling silly? Who skips a long dance the whole night away? Who smiles at me in my moments of pretty? Woman, hold my hand. Woman, hold my hand. And who binds my wounds when I'm bruised and battered by strangers and those daily walking in my life? Who lets me know that I'm more than my hurting? Woman, hold my hand. Woman, hold my hand. And who cries with me when I lose my baby by accident, choice, or against my will? Who knows that I'm but a childless mother? A woman, hold my hand. A woman, hold my hand. And who makes me sing when my voice is silent? Songs that left me for places unheard. Who makes me sing when my singing seems useless? Woman, hold my hand. Woman, hold my hand. Woman, hold my hand. Okay, welcome to Captain's Vlog again. We have a double first today. We have our first uh, female performer and our first unaccompanied singer. I was really moved by your songs. Can you tell us how you got into singing like that and a lot about yourself and your well, music? Well, probably started more when I was a child and my mum was a great singer and she played piano and we didn't have a television in the house and there was eight kids in my family. Wow. So um, Sundays after church, we'd come home and we'd all just stand around the piano and sing. And it was usually songs from the musicals and yeah. whatever. So, um, yeah, probably my mum was just a singer. I went around the house singing all the time. So you just tended to just follow it. It just seemed to come naturally. You know? And I had a, um, well, I've got a twin sister and we sing together. And uh, so picking up sort of harmonies was was quite good. Singing unaccompanied because neither of us played a musical instrument. Right. Although we, we do both play guitar now, but... Uh, we didn't play musical instruments, but um, we just sang together, and I just found out that I naturally could sort of pick up harmonies. So um, we sang, yeah, usually at sessions around pubs and local hotels, and whatever you know, folk festivals. So, um, but my sister doesn't live up here; she lives down in North Wales, so I don't really get the opportunity to do that anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. So, um, and you know, I was married to a musician for many, many years, and we'd sing with him. He he sang around most of the pubs in, in Edinburgh. So, but I like to sing unaccompanied. I, it gives you more freedom of yeah. um, what you're doing with your voice, and you know, it lets you also lets you put emotions into oh, the song. Oh, very emotional. That and was uh, uh, you write the songs yourself? Was that first one your own composition? The, I wrote the first one um, that I sang. I wrote myself and um, it was very important to me to get that song down because I lost my daughter Carol in a car accident when she was 17 wow. oh. and um, my husband and I used to speak about her really quite a lot it was we kind of helped each other through it and uh, my husband died about just over, just about six years ago and I suddenly realized that um, 
nobody mentioned her name, nobody was speaking about her anymore. And it was wow. like, all of a sudden, they start, started to really panic. But all the things that we spoke about, that I was going to forget yeah. all these little things, the funny things that she did. Quirks, so yeah. I started kind of writing down all the little quirky things. She was very funny, you know, always made us laugh. So I started writing down all these little quirky things. But when I was doing that, I suddenly thought, actually, the, probably the most important thing is actually trying to remember what she sounded like, you know, what how, how she spoke. Oh, and, right, for, yeah. and it was like forgetting, the fear of forgetting her voice, voice is obviously one of the sound yeah. of voice is one of the, the, the yeah, lines yeah. in the song. So um, I was really lucky to be able to, I went to Lismore, the Mary Campbell and Sarah Impala were doing a, a songwriting workshop and it's such a magical place and just got the opportunity to just explore my voice, explore the words, explore, and actually um, write the song. Yeah. So yeah, it was um, it was nice to just get it down on paper. Very emotional, but I find now that I can I can sing it because it's it's something that I've needed to do. So, um, Excellent. Yep. Yeah, and the, yep. the second song you sang for us? Well, that was written by um, Bernice Johnson Reagan, and the reason I chose that one is called Me Francis, and it's more about the connection with women, because one of the, the things that I did um, kind of after Carol died, I found I really didn't have music in my life anymore, so I joined um, Eileen Penman's um, Women in Folk Song all right. singing class, mm -hmm. and I met some amazing women there, you know, from all different walks of life. And um, six of us went on to sing together and uh, formed a a cappella folk band called um, Stated Gossip and sang uh, for 20 years in different formats, there was six of us, and then there was five and then it was four of us for for many years and um we did two albums which was the song selections in the album were very close to the way that we think yeah. you know very sort of political in a way but also a way of um it's important for us to support yeah. other women because i know that men go through hard times but women tend to you know go through hard times and um Women are fortunate because we can we talk about it. Yeah, Men, it's true. more yeah. it's kind of Hold it, keep it keep a lot to themselves. So I think it was important to get things out and to say things, and we chose that song to sing because it was how we felt about each other. Right. As a, as a right. you know as a group and how we performed. Yeah. So it's really important to me because it makes me think about all these lovely people that I sang with for all these years. Um, so that's why I chose yeah. that. One. And you mentioned recording there. Have you recorded these songs? Can yes, we did. We um, yeah. yes, they're um, they're available obviously on online, Spotify, yeah. and um, yeah, you can download tracks from them. Yeah. There's right. two CDs. Um, one's called Stirring It Up, the first one, and the second. So say that again. Stirring It Up. Stirring It Up. Yeah. Oh, stirring It Up. Yeah. All the different, yeah. <laughs> and the other one's called Stepsisters. Ste wow. Uh, well, because they were called yeah. Stairhead Gossip. Step yeah. and we all basically we are sisters, you know, so we always will be sisters, all, yeah. all six of us. So, and do you sing regularly if anybody watching the well, vlog wants to come along and hear you? Well, well in obviously, the flesh, in the, cap in the so captain's bar, yeah. um, I come to sessions, Kevin Gore's session on a Wednesday night, Wednesday, and yeah. sometimes a Thursday early session. Yeah, but Monday nights go to the, the Royal Oak, um, which is yeah, another kind of open mic session. But s sing at lots of people's um, sort of parties and sing at my folk wedding. festivals and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sung at lots of weddings actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's tremendous. yeah, so yeah, just just enjoy, enjoy getting out. Yeah, um, because it's it's just you just feel that you can come out. So a woman on her own that used to be kind of frowned upon for people to no, come out and my mother would never go out absolutely after my dad not, died. you know no, so no. so looking yeah. at having somewhere That's where you great. could come mm. where you can make friends and I've got some great friendships now through yeah. music um yeah. and Pam good of really good friend yes. of mine now you know obviously <laughs> Cap network, Captain's Bar is brilliant yeah. absolutely brilliant love it just makes great. you feel like we've got a big musical family yes yeah. exactly good good yeah. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add to that? Unless you've covered uh, something you want Not to... Not really, I so think that that's probably just a good? fraction of my story, obviously. Oh, a fraction <laughs> of my story. No, that's the first that's episode. <laughs> Thank we'll you. We'll Thank revisit you it oh, once good. we get the songs out there, yeah. Fantastic.
When you were five, coming home from school, you used to come in, climbing over the wall. Though the gate was open for us all, now that's just a fading memory, fading memory. Fading memory How can I stop those memories From fading away? Cartwheels along the promenade wall Backflips up and down the hall You laughed louder than us all Now that's just a fading memory Fading memory, fading memory How can I stop those memories from fading away? You love to sing and play your guitar Saving wild animals from afar Listening to Bob Dylan singing in the car Now that's just a fading memory Fading memory Fading memory How can I stop those memories From fading away? Now it gets harder every day Your photograph looks so cold and grey Your smiling face once had a lot to say But now it's a fading memory Fading memory Fading memory How can I stop those memories From fading away? Now life could be different if we had a choice You somehow learned to live with the loss But the fear of forgetting the sound of your voice That's a terrible fading memory Fading memory Fading memory How can I stop those memories from fading away? Fading memory, fading memory How can I stop those memories from fading away?